So in this next tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to manipulate your geometry in different kinds of modes. So right now we are in object mode. I'm going to select the object and with the right mouse button, click and hold, I will get this menu. So we can switch to edge, object mode, face mode or vertice mode. And then there's another few modes, but we'll skip them for now. So let's say we want to go to vertex mode. We'll hover over the button and then let go with the mouse. Now we're in vertex mode, which shows by these uh, purple points that you can select. Let's drag and select them. And now we have those uh, vertices selected. If I hit W, I'll be able to move them around. If I hit E, I'll be able to rotate them around. And if I hit R, I'll be able to scale them in and out. Now, if we go again and click and hold with the right mouse button, we can go to face mode. And this enables us to uh, select each individual face. So let's select this one. Now it's orange, so that means it's selected. We'll squeeze it in a bit by translating it. We'll rotate it a bit by hitting E and we'll move it a bit down by hitting W. Great. So let's say we want to select two faces at the same time. This is also possible. If we hold down shift and we click on the faces that we want, we can select them all uh, both at the same time easy okay let's right click again on the object and let's go to edge mode that's the final mode we're going to talk about um, so we drag and hold with the right mouse button hover over the um, the edge button and then let go so now we're in edge mode this basically allows us to um, manipulate all the individual edges either one or with holding shift down select multiple and we can with R, hitting R, we can scale them, hitting E, we can rotate them, and hitting, hitting W, we can translate them. Now the final step, of course, is to go back to object mode, right click and hold, uh, go to object mode and let go. That's it, that were the different modes. So this is um, a sort of preparation for the modeling that we're gonna do later. And in the next tutorial, I will do a brief overview over the different kinds of modes that you can see your object in.